actually like to pay for the person behind me. My husband was brutally killed. Just wanted to pay for their order and also if you can tell them too that today um, is the anniversary of when my husband was laid to rest after he was brutally killed. Well guys, prepare to get angry. Now normally the stuff we talk about on this channel is pretty innocent and lighthearted, but every now and then I come across something that is just genuinely objectively bad. And today is one of those days. Now we are not strangers to seeing people do bad things on TikTok. We've seen our fair share, but what we're going to be looking at today might actually just be the most disgusting thing we've ever covered. And it comes by way of the TikToker Lisa Mia who was a self-proclaimed author slash poet who was using her quote husband's brutal death as a way to promote her writing. Unfortunately, I am not joking. If you go to this woman's TikTok page, there are dozens and dozens of TikToks where she starts off the video by saying something like my husband was brutally murdered and then she goes into reciting a poem or tells you to go buy her book on Amazon. And it gets even worse when you learn that the man she's basing all of this around was not even actually her husband. They were never married and this woman was not even married mentioned in his obituary. Yet she has seemingly dedicated her entire life to using this man's death as a way to promote her dream of being a writer. Apparently the family of this man is absolutely disgusted and in no way in support of what this woman is doing. Yet she continues using this man's death as a way to build a social media presence and sell books. Now I could honestly sit here for like an hour going through this account because basically every single TikTok has something to do with this woman's deceased boyfriend. But I went through and I picked out some that I really think highlight how insane this situation is and the absurdity of what this woman is doing. So let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. Please subscribe. I actually like to pay for the person behind me. Today is um, National Day of Remembrance for homicide victims and my husband was brutally killed. So um, I just wanted to give some love today and I hope that, you know, if anybody that you lost and I, I feel like there is somebody and she's watching you. She's watching you all the time and she loves you. Okay, so yeah, this is a real video with real people at a real drive through and this woman somehow thinks this is socially acceptable behavior. Hey, uh, can I get a Big Mac? Um, extra sauce, please. By the way, ha, <laughs> quick fact about my husband. I mean, seriously, who does this, and why are you recording it? If it's really for the homicide victims, and it's really just to let this girl know somebody loves her, why would you record it? It's because it's not for those reasons. You want people to find this video, feel bad for you, explore your page, and buy your book out of pity, or read your poems even though they don't want to. There's no reason to film this and post it online whatsoever unless you're trying to benefit off of it. So, um, this is for the people behind me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I actually record these things. Can, can you say hi to people? <laughs> this is Trinity. <laughs> we need more kindness. Okay, um, sure, I can get on board with that. More kindness can't be a bad thing, but uh, this is not kindness. This is exploitation, which is like the direct opposite of kindness. I mean, even if the husband thing had nothing to do with this, I find it very strange when people feel the need to record themselves doing nice acts. It's the same thing when people like record themselves giving food to the homeless. When you record these things and add cheesy music and then post them onto TikTok, it's really hard for me to believe you do these things for any other reason than a pat on the back. All right, so she really enjoys putting cheesy copyrighted music over her talking, so I'm going to be talking over these next two videos, which are about the book in question. So the book is called Juliet Lives, which is in reference to Romeo and Juliet. She's Juliet, Romeo is dead, so Juliet lives. Which I feel like is a terrible title, even if you aren't doing all of this on TikTok. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But it's interesting to me how this video talking about her book and how to buy it has no tears, no bawling, no crying, no over-the-top acting about how she's missing her husband so badly. And this is the pinned video on her account. Not something to do with her husband or the story, what actually happened. No, the one thing that this all ties into to make her money. Yeah, I find that very peculiar. Now in the next video, she's responding to a comment about what the book is about and how it's about his murder, the injustice, how she's been healing and how she's been dealing with life afterwards. She continues to say that it's partially about how he turned her into a better person and made her stronger and then quotes one of the most disrespectful lines I have ever heard written in my entire life. This man was brutally murdered and part of that murder was him getting set on fire and this woman wrote in her book, there's a fire in me greater than the fire he was consumed alive in. I think we have definitive proof that haunting does not exist because if anybody's getting haunted, it's this woman. This is like something you'd hear in a diss track, not a book dedicated to a deceased person. Thank you, yeah, I just wanted to pay for their order and also if you can tell them too, 
that today um, is the anniversary of when my husband was laid to rest after he was brutally killed. You are an insane person. Who does this? Who raised you? Who taught you this is okay behavior? Yeah, I'm gonna pay for the person's cheeseburger behind me, but uh, can you tell them that my husband was killed today? Can you drop that bomb on him for me? Huh? You only get paid $8 an hour? No, 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 you don't get it. It's for a TikTok. I mean, how can you be this shameless? I don't get it. You don't want to make a difference. You don't actually want to spread love. You want validation on TikTok and attention for your book. If that wasn't true, you would take this money and donate it somewhere meaningful. Like, I don't know, maybe the Organization of Justice for Homicide victims, but that probably wouldn't be as easy to record, right? And that um, I saw that they're also military, so please thank them for their service for me. Oh, wow. And even if you can't remember all that, I have a letter for you to give to them. Imagine burdening a fast food worker with all this nonsense and then tricking yourself into thinking you're doing a good deed. Husband, wife, partner, spouse. These are not just legal titles with paperwork. Um, yeah, they kind of are. But there's more pressing matters right now. Any harp players watching this video? Is this a real method? Akimbo harps? Surely this cannot be efficient. It's so much more. When souls, usually two, love each other so much that before the government gets involved, their union is already signed in commitment to each other and sealed with a verbal promise of loyalty through ups and downs, successes, joys, challenges and whatever life throws. Choosing each other in this life over and over, and in some cases, like mine, forever. Yeah, uh, sure, but if you don't marry somebody, they're not your husband. I mean, you could call him like your life partner, your soulmate, whatever, but saying he's your husband is purposefully misleading and you know that. There's a connotation with the word husband that is causing you to use that word over the word boyfriend, and you're doing it for your own gain. Rob and I said our vows creatively to one another. No paperwork. He was killed before we could do that. Our families and friends look forward to celebrating our union like we should have the month he was killed. This is an absolutely crazy thing to say because there are people on TikTok who have come out as this man's family members and they've said he wasn't even really dating you when he died and he was actually with somebody else and that they don't even really know you. To say that you were his fiance and people were looking forward to a wedding? I don't know who's lying, but based off this woman's behavior, I know who I'm gonna give the benefit of the doubt. My husband was murdered in one of the most gruesome homicides in Florida. Yet here I am, and I'm telling you, if you're in pain, I write poems, I write people affirmations, and if you need one, just drop a comment. This video is a prime example of what this woman is doing. She's talking about something completely unrelated, writing people poems and affirmations, and for some reason she feels the need to include that her husband died in a gruesome murder. Like, does that make you more credible as a poem and affirmation writer? Like, why would you say this if not just to get people's attention? I mean, this is genuinely nothing more than milking a person's death in order to try and get people to comment on your TikTok video so it gets boosted into the algorithm. There's absolutely no reason to mention any of this. Now I could go on and on, like I said, there are dozens of videos just like this, but they're basically all the same. She goes through a drive through she recites a poem for a random commenter, she sings a song, starting off every single video, whether it's relevant or not, by saying, my husband was brutally murdered. But the way she treats this situation, alongside what the supposed family members have said about this woman, it seems like she might honestly just be using a random person's death that she heard about to boost her TikTok and her book. And I honestly don't know which situation would be worse. Well guys, what are your thoughts? What do you think about this situation? This is definitely one of the more despicable things I've covered on this channel. I mean, every single day I am surprised at the links people will go and the lows people will stoop to to get attention on the internet. I mean, if this woman was close to this man when this happened, obviously that's a terrible thing to have to go through. But to be milking his death every single day of your life, 13 years after it happened for no other reason than to try and sell a book you wrote that's unforgivable if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it it's free it won't cost you anything but for now that's all i have for you today bye Subscribe.